Representing 14% of the overall property casualty market, surplus lines and wholesale brokers clearly demonstrate a critical role. In this interview at the recent NAPSO convention in San Diego, President of Specialty Risk Associates and incoming President of the NAPSO Association, John Wood, discusses a new NAPSO campaign and the importance of the surplus lines insurance community. Well, you know, the, the thing is, uh, if you look at any of the surveys or if you talk to our customers, the retail agent, there's one message that comes out on a regular basis, and that's responsiveness. They want a wholesaler that can respond to their needs. So what, what makes that? I think that when we talk about responsiveness, we're talking about value added. And value added is all the things that come to that uh, action of being responsive. And that includes, you know, you have to have the right markets. You have to, when your customer comes to you, our job, I believe, is to solve the puzzle. So we, if we have markets that are stable, financially stable, and able to deliver on the promise to pay, that's one uh, facet. The other thing would be to have employees that are educated and knowledgeable. And along with that comes a relationship that because you have the market, because you have uh, uh, the employee that's educated and has the skill to solve the puzzle, um, you're in a situation where you build a deeper relationship with your customer. And that's when you really develop business and, and start to grow. Is, um is that relationship or, or more important during certain market cycles like right now? I think it's important all the time. Do you feel that agents understand uh, the, the value that, that you're providing as a wholesale broker? I think some understand the, the value of it. I think that some just look at, uh, you know, I have a puzzle that I need to solve today. How many numbers can I call in order to, to get that job done? But uh, only through experience does one really know, I think, how valuable that it, that it is and that it's important to maintain a relationship uh, over the course of weeks, months, or years. Can you talk a little bit about the education and awareness campaign that NAPSLO is embarking on, just released this week? Um, what do you hope as incoming president of the association to accomplish through the efforts of this campaign? Well, we talked a little bit before about value added and, mm -hmm. and having, having employees that are capable and experienced to solve the puzzle like we were talking about. Continued education is part of that. You have to keep growing. You can't continue to do the same things you were doing yesterday into the future and hope to be successful. And then we have to let people know that this is a good industry that to be involved in. You talked a little bit about after a hurricane, after a disaster, the media coverage may not be so favorable to the industry. But what, what story should, should the industry be telling? I think the industry should tell the story that, as I mentioned before, we are, po we're, we are puzzle solvers for our clients when they come to us. You can consider us a pressure relief valve. We're there when the standard market does not respond for some reason. So we're creative. We come up with a, uh, with a solution to a problem. And by doing that, we have a great story to, to tell to our clients and to, the, to other industries. We're there to step in to fill the need that's created for whatever reason. It could be a new product, it could be a new coverage form, it, be, it could be because of a devastation or a catastrophe, like a big storm. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that's a crucial, a, a crucial component of the market. Absolutely. I think the latest statistics show that we're about 14% of the total market. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you see that growing? Or, or? With the way that the world is changing and, and evolving, there's a good chance that uh, by continuing to do a good job and to celebrating our story, that we can become uh, a bigger segment of the entire market. Do you have any thoughts on how brokers can, wholesale brokers can remain profitable in, in the current market cycle? I've come to the realization that it, every day it's a different market. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I consider that a, a challenge uh, from the standpoint of you, you always need to be watching your business. You need to figure out what you need to do to solve the problems of the day. If the customer of the day brings that puzzle to you, you need to be prepared to, to be able to solve it. If, if you had one goal that you'd like to achieve in this coming year as in your term as president of the association, what would that be? 
You know, if I, if I had to sum that up, I'd say it's about the membership. I want all of the membership to feel like they're included, whether they're a small office, medium-sized office, or a large office. We want to try to be able to offer as many service, services to them as we can because it's not our organization. It doesn't belong to the board or, or any one person. It belongs to the entire membership.